as the last sliver of sun sets. Oh, some people get scared of the dark, so. <laughs> and darkness creeps over Colorado State University in Fort Collins. All right, you ready? Heather Michelak. That's exciting. Waits for what will lurk in the shadows. It's got teeth. <laughs> and it's hardly terrifying. Uh, lunar eclipse is when the moon goes into the shadow cone. The lead technician of CSU's observatory admits the only thing creepy about this eclipse is its name. Uh, tonight, what is it? The super blood wolf moon? Super in size, blood red in color, and wolf, what you call a January full moon. So a lot of people talk about werewolves during the full moon. The eclipse name? Just clever moon marketing. <laughs> it is kind of funny. I think it's a way to get people out and excited about science. On Sunday night at CSU, some brought their own celestial soundtrack. Google spacey music. <laughs> as the super blood wolf moon shined through the shadows. Now are there werewolves being made right now? The lunar event lured them in. Some stayed up past bedtime. As Heather did. I just told these ladies what was going on. For Haley's Comet years ago. And it was miraculous that we got to see this comet in the telescope and just this moment that we got to share. A feeling shared by a crowd glued to the sky. You can really start to see the stars. It's all red, well reddish and gray. Oh my gosh, there's like a little glowy purple part too. Do you see that? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to describe it, but really it feels here. <laughs> it warms my heart that there's this many people who love science. It almost, it almost makes me tear up. <laughs> a mix of emotions about the moon, but there's nothing scary about science. Thank you all for coming out tonight. This is awesome. In Fort Collins, Noel Brennan, 9 News.